Car's just arrived. Customer's driven quite a long way to us. And um, just doing a little lap round it to see if, any, see if I can see any clues to why there might be water getting in it. That looks a bit odd. That little window there is not butting up very well. There's a bit of a gap there. Maybe that's something to do with it. I'll see what it's like on the other side. Yeah, possibly. There's another little gap there. So, what was it led you to first realise that you had a water leak? Um, when was I was hoovering it out. Yeah, um, you were vacuuming it, yeah? Yeah, um, it out. Oh, that's opening it up. Open it yeah, okay. And I tipped the seats forward. And is it here? In this, the on the other side. side? Yeah, okay. Let's have a look. So we tipped the seats forward. So what were the symptoms? Was there anything else, like steamed up windows or the window? On a cold morning, it's just absolutely wet. Oh, right, okay. Let's just feel down. Oh, yeah, it feels dry on the surface now, at least. Yeah. We've so we'll put a meter on it. Um, so, where do you suspect the water's coming from? If you had to suspect it, where would you think? Well, when Phil was washing it a few months, well, a few weeks ago, it was, that was hanging out there. So whether that's something to do with it, it's okay. gone shooting in there, we don't know. Right, okay. But yeah. apart from that, maybe the seals, but we yeah. don't know. Yeah, I just looked at that. It looks a bit odd the way that all connects together, so we'll have a look at that. Um, it probably could do with those seals lubricating anyway, because that all feels a bit dry. Yeah. So, okay, so... Is there anywhere water, you've found water other than what you've just seen there, where it shouldn't be? Right, no, okay, so no, nowhere specifically there. where you've gone, oh, I've opened the glove box and found water in there or no. in the boot or anything like no, that. Have you there. had the boot carpet up as well? We had a look in yeah, there. You can have a look. Well, if you're happy you have, then we will do it, but I was just yeah. seeing if there was anything in here in the film, you know. If I use that in the passenger footwell, yeah. it's all wet. That gets wet, right, really, really okay. Wet. So that's why it's in there. It's so wet. what's happened so far? Has anybody tried to fix it or no, have you know? No. No, no, okay, right. No, okay, no, no, okay. 2002 Mini in today for our water leak procedure. So we're just going to show you obviously what we found so far. Um, so first thing that we're going to do is this tells us if there's any water underneath the floor pan, which as you can see, it's telling us it's absolutely soaking wet. Same in the drivers as well, uh, passengers, sorry. Driver's rear. So it's showing that we've got water in the driver's rear as well. Uh, there's nothing in the boot, which is a good sign. Uh, coming around to the passenger side. So that's telling us that there's water under there as well. Um, so obviously we recommend drying the cars out for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is because obviously you've got all of these electrics, so we don't want obviously any electrical problems. Um, two, you don't want any obviously smells and also we don't want any mold spores. Um, so we're just going to show you what we found first of all. Focusing on the boot area. Um, the tailgate rubber is not bonded to the car so it is a little bit loose um, we do know that they can run down inside the rubber and then come in uh, the good thing is there's no water in this boat um, but obviously we would advise getting this obviously resealed um, we can see that the reverse camera has been wired, rewired a bit of a funny way um, in theory that needs to go up through here and then come out of here um, so that could do with being rewired as I say there's no water in the boot yet but obviously we've got to note them bits there uh, so coming on to the bits we've found so far. Um, so what we're going to be concentrating is the driver's seal. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hose on and then we're going to jump inside and then we should see it leaking into the car. Okay, so we've just got the door rubber on test. So driver's door rubber first of all. Um, so if we come in on the inside. And there we go. So we can see the water dripping in past the rubber and then what that's then doing is falling into the footwell um, which is obviously causing our problem there 
um, and it's also doing it on the passenger side as well so we can see this drip here which is coming down um, so these are actually dry um, as you can see all the water falling out um, so we have vias obviously resealing them there um, also we have noticed um, behind these front uh, front trims they have little clips and it's looking like the driver's clip is a bit you can see a little tiny bit of water on it um, on the actual video and um, which I will show you um, but obviously with this one so far all we've found is the door rubbers a pillars and obviously the tailgate rubber and the reverse camera and there's quite a lot of water in now so obviously we've got to strip it all out suck it all out with our um, wet vac and then put our super drying machine in now um, so there we go okay so we've just got a quick progress report on the mini um, so we have the a pillars off now so as we can see behind the a pillars you have obviously holes in the a pillar and obviously these are the clips on the actual trim itself um, so this one doesn't look too sad um, but the one we was concerned with was the passenger side um, so as we can see we've got obviously the bits and pieces here and then if we come down to here we can see on one of these clips uh, these gaskets are these gaskets on here so they did have gaskets uh, but what we have noticed is we have a broken clip there as you can see at the top here and we've also got a broken clip here as well so it wouldn't be clipping in as well so that would obviously be the leak there uh, we've got the rubber off of the door trim um, it come off really easy and um, there was a bit of um, bondant here not a great deal um, but as you can see there's a bit of a watermark there um, so we're going to clean all of this up and then obviously rebond the rubbers back to the car um, also got the carpet up now um, so we've got the underlay here uh, this underlay has foam in it so it's got sponge and foam um, so as you can see how it, how wet it is there if I just give it a squeeze at a lower point so and it's, it's wet all the, all the way to the back here and um, so we're going to suck all of that out and then we're going to put our super drying machine in that one there um, and just to quickly show you the driver's side So driver's side, so we can obviously see the dampness on the floor pan. Um, this is obviously the underlay, so we can feel that it's soaking wet here and it's soaking wet down here as well. And on the back end, so this is all wet as well, not as wet as the front but it has still got some water in it. Um, this door rubber, obviously off as well, so we're gonna give this a clean up um, and then obviously reseal it here. The problem we normally have on the minis is the way that this A-pillar buckles, so it kind of goes in like a loop. So what it does, when it goes in the loop, the water goes behind the rubber here and then what it would then do is then follow it down the rubber and then it would then follow it, obviously fall in at this point here which obviously matches up with where it was dropping when we was testing. Um, so there we go. So you can see a little bit of that sealant now. So it's only sticky sealant. Um, but obviously we'll get that all sealed up now. And then we've got to do the tailgate rubber. Um, but we're going to put the drying machine in now and get it all dried. Oh my God, what a different car that is. I've just walked out here with a camera and saw that. Well, I can say... Wow, we. <laughs> So not only has this car been here because it had a water leak, um, but the lady's also taken advantage of our special offer. And so the car's looking like new because that's what we love to do. This is taking a negative and turning it into a positive. The car was a bit smelly inside and uh, that's because it had a, had some water in it for quite some time. So it wasn't uh, very pleasant to drive and it didn't look that bad, but now it looks amazing. So we've turned a negative into a positive and that's part of our, uh, our motto, if you say, that's you know what we're all about, really. Amazing. <laughs>